So, Dr. Tam, yeah. when you go to parties, do people ask you to crack their back? All day long. <laughs> Let me show you some truths and myths behind the chiropractic field. So we have scoured the web to look for the best truths versus myths about chiropractic. And I'm going to help you either say, you know what? That sounds like the truth or nope. Let's debunk that myth today. Number one. Do chiropractors only crack backs? Ooh, that's a great question because whenever I'm at the party and people will be like, Oh, crack my back, crack my back. You know, the moment they find out you're a chiropractor and they're like, Oh, they just grab their neck. You know, the moment it's, it's kind of funny that way, but it happens all the time. I, I believe being a chiropractor myself, that has got to be the not 100% truth because yes, there are some chiropractors that use uh, their hands, mm -hmm. right? Where someone will say, Oh yeah, let me, let me get your back cracked. There are other ones like us who are using instruments to really adjust the body. It's not so much about cracking the back as much as it is about realigning the spine to allow the body to function at its best. Now, mind you, when you first thought about chiropractic before you've ever experienced one, what were your experiences? Well, what did you hear? To my knowledge, mm -hmm. chiropractors only cracked backs. Okay. That was it. There was no neck, there was no ankle, no knees, no nothing like that. Right. It was just backs in my knowledge. Well, I'll tell you what, before I knew about chiropractors and what they really did or what we really do before my mom was actually helped. I always thought that, you know what, when you get into a car accident, that's when you go to a chiropractor, but actually people go to a chiropractor and come to our office for more than just back pain. They're coming in for, you know, pregnancy. They're coming in for their kids, right? They're coming in, of course, back pain, but also be able to get back in life as well. I see us as more of a transformational um, profession where we actually transform someone's life from not functioning to functioning. Okay. So number two, chiropractors are only useful for back pain. Well, only useful for back pain. I think that's a myth, but Hey, I'm, I'm a little biased, right? So for a lot of people, what they don't realize and understand is why do they get back pain? See, most people think that everyone just gets back pain randomly. Oh, you know what? Everyone gets it. It must be normal. Just because it's common doesn't mean that it's normal. And for us, you know, it's, it's not about just back pain. It's about everything else as well. When you restore the alignment of your back, guess what? You're going to be walking better, going up and down the stairs better. You're going to be able to sit for longer, be able to play with your kids. Um, it's, it's more like, I like to think of us as life changers. Chiropractors are life changers. See, I, or, or life transformationers. Is that even a word? Life transformers. <laughs>
Yep. Mm -hmm. Number four. Chiropractic care is dangerous. Chiropractic care is dangerous. Now, in general, it's not. It's not dangerous, right? Uh, of course, if I'm very, very honest, and I am, there has been news of maybe chiropractors hurting um, someone after an adjustment or maybe someone got hurt after one. If you look online, you're going to find everything, right? But all in all, I believe that there are, just like in every other field, there is good apples and bad apples, right? But you're not going to find that chiropractic is dangerous in any way. Not if the chiropractor you go to have done the right steps. See, in here, what we do is we make sure we take you through a consultation, an exam. If you have trauma, we've taken through x-rays mm -hmm. as well. And then we take time to analyze those x-rays. And between me, our other doctors, our nurse practitioners, we really sit down. That's one of the cool things about our office. I believe it's cool because, of course, it's our office, right? Is that we have a team meeting. Mm -hmm. where we sit down and go over exactly in a team between all the practitioners and our case managers to know exactly what's going on with your spine if you were to come in here. So I don't believe that the way we do it, wow, it's it's so safe, you know? So I, I think it's 100% safe. Yeah, especially with the impulse tool. You yeah. can get a different uh, adjustment every time. It's pretty... Um... It's unique, you know, yes. it's unique. It, yes. It's specialized to you. Yes. You know, um, no one's going to, you know, you don't see people walking down the hall getting the same adjustment. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, you know, I just got the same adjustment as the guy in the other room. No, no, no. You, I have not seen one person get the same adjustment. Just the pelvis alone, just the hips, mm -hmm. there are six different adjustments. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, six? just the hips alone, there's six different mm -hmm. ones, you know, just, and, and, Mind you, all the other combinations, yeah. right, in the spine. So, yeah, I think it's really far from dangerous. I mean, we take care of kids who are a few months old yeah. all the way to um, seniors who are in their 80s and 90s. So, they think it's safe. Well, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Number five. Once you start going to a chiropractor, you cannot stop. Ooh, that's a big one. That is a big one. And, you know, those of you who are watching this, you've probably heard this before. Mm -hmm right? Addicted to crack. Someone might say that. Or once you go, you're, you're, you're never going to stop, right? Addicted to that crack. Uh, ad addicted to that crack. Right? <laughs> not, not the, not the, you know, DEA is going to come get you type of crack, right? <laughs> but it's addicted to the, the adjustment. But here's how I take it. I think it's more like the understanding of how your life has transformed. You know, we are life transformers. We really, that's what we work towards. Not just decreasing pain, but increasing someone's function and longevity. That completely transformed your life. And here's what my take on it. Just like going to the gym or brushing your teeth, right? Think about it. Would you ever go without, without brushing your teeth for a week? No. No. Never. Never, right? How about a couple days? If I was stranded in the woods, maybe. In the woods, right? But if you're, I'm at home, no, I'm going to brush my No, you're, you're going to do it. So if someone, right, all of a sudden says, hey, does that mean that once you brush your teeth, you can't ever stop? No. No, you, you want to, you know it's good for you, right? Yeah. When you know something is good for you in your heart, you're going to want to continue. It, it's just like maintenance. You know, our body, it's like maintenance on the body. Mm -hmm. Imagine if someone sold you a car, right? And they said... Well, you know what? Once you buy a car, you get that first oil change, you're going to keep getting it and you'll never stop. What are you going to say? Well, that's very true, but I mean... Right? Or, or someone will say, hey, once you exercise, yeah. oh, you might get addicted to the gym. You become a gym rat. You won't stop. What well, the thing is, if it's good for you, right? Same as eating healthy, drinking water. If it's good for you, you're going to want to continue. If it makes you feel good, you're going to want to keep doing it. Yes not only makes you feel good, but if it's transformed your life, why would you ever go back? Exactly. Right? You know what it was like before. You pain. see? It was pain and it was painful. Mm -hmm. And it was your life completely 180 degrees. Why would you ever want to go back? I wouldn't. You wouldn't <laughs> want to go back. And uh, our patients agree. Yep. That's why we've had patients here for 
11, we've been open for 12 years. Yeah. I've had patients for 12 years that are still here because they see the value, they see how much, here's the big thing. The biggest thing is when you have husband and wife mm -hmm. and one, we have a few of those couples, like three, okay, three that I've seen, all three, I've seen the patient who is married couples, mm -hmm. right? Wife came in, husband at the beginning was very, very stubborn, did not wanna come in, not wanna come in, never came in. And what has happened is at the beginning, the reason why the wife came in was because so that she can keep up with the husband. But all three couples, what has happened is as the wife has started to get healthier, the husband started to get less healthy. Yeah. And over the course of 10, 11 years, you're gonna see that difference. And now 11 years later, all three husbands are looking at their wives like, wow, I should have listened to you 11 years ago. So I, I believe it's, it's uh, because we're able to transform the life and we're able to keep people doing what they really love to do, playing with their kids, traveling, driving, everything, yeah. that why would you give that up, right? No one wants to give anything up. Exactly, exactly. All right, number six. Chiropractic care is unsafe for children. Oh my gosh. That's like the biggest myth ever. We have kids that love getting adjusted, right? The youngest little one that I've ever adjusted. Well, that's my daughter, five hours old, right? She got her first adjustment at five hours old. Oh. And the youngest we've adjusted in here was five days old. Okay. Oh, wow. This was just a couple, couple years ago. Yeah, mom had the little one. The little one, because mom was going through her adjustments mm -hmm. and through the pregnancy and everything, nice, smooth pregnancy, little one's out got adjusted right away. You know, like the day, I think, I can't remember if it was like day they went home or it was mm -hmm. like right after. You know, like the babies yeah. came out fresh. You know, still had the, the, the hospital, the, the new baby smell, still had the hospital wrap, you know, oh. and, and, and everything. And it's 100% safe, see. If the doctor knows what they're doing, mm -hmm. right? They've taken care of kids before and especially if they got their own kids, it, it's so safe because it takes the amount of pressure that it takes to adjust a little one is as much pressure as it takes to dent your face. Oh, wow. That's it. That's it. You know, how we learned in chiropractic school was you take like the smushiest tomato that you can ever find and you put a little dent on that tomato. That's how much pressure it takes to adjust the baby. That's it's not like no one's going to go and then, and then, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's what so people are afraid of. It's like, oh my God, I don't want that, my baby to have that twisting. You watch other videos where they're using towels and you know, yeah. wrenching the head. That should never happen to your baby. Okay, so okay. yeah. Number seven. And final. Final myth. Chiropractic adjustments are painful. Hmm, well. There are some, how would I put this? There are some truths to that, depending on how you get adjusted and whether or not, once again, this, this is a question where it's like a hit or miss mm -hmm. because it depends on where you go to get adjusted. Very how much does the chiropractor know that you are inflamed and how much workup did they do? Mm -hmm. Okay, here's an example. Patient A, patient B. Patient A, all right, walks into an office mm -hmm. and says, you know what, I just wanna get popped right here. I need, the, I need this right here. I'm so hurting so, so bad, right? Yeah. They walk in and they, the person lays them on the bed, right? Yep. Without really taking them a history exam mm -hmm. or x-rays, right? This excruciating pain. And then someone just goes in, feels for it, feels for it, and then boom, the adjustment happens. And they're like, whoa, yeah. and then they walk out in even more pain. Mm -hmm. Well, can that happen? Of course. Yeah, we yeah. hear about it all the time, right? Patient B goes in, right? Mm -hmm. And you probably know where this is going, right? <laughs> Patient B comes in, boom, a lot of pain mm -hmm. once again, yep. right? They want to get adjusted, but you got to sit down and talk to them about, see like why, why are they, how did they get this way? Mm -hmm. If someone's been through trauma, Anyone who's been through trauma, I promise you, if you have any falls, accidents, injuries, 
fell on your head, maybe as a child, maybe you've gone through some bike accidents, did some X games, fall off a horse, whatever it may be, you must have an exam. You must have some form of x-ray if it's been a long time, if it's a chronic problem. Mm -hmm. It's something that I think it's our duty to really find out what's really the problem with the patient. Mm -hmm. Because if not, and if the spine is maybe twisted one way and you feel for it, and then it ends up being the other way, yeah. oh my gosh, someone will walk home and they, they will have a terrible experience, maybe a headache or whatnot, be in a lot of pain, um, and they won't come back. So it's like going in blind. Yeah, you go in blind. You go in blind, right? You know, you go to a dentist. What's the first thing they do? They, they take neck. They take an X-ray, mm -hmm. right? Kids, they take an X-ray. What about a car mechanic, right? Shouldn't they do a diagnosis? Okay, they just listen to it and say, hey, you know what? Sounds like you need a new engine. No, they don't, they don't do that. So it really depends on how, how it's approached. And I believe the right approach, um, really that, that matters everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. I think that was the end of all seven myths. Okay. Anything else? Any extra tips? Don't just let chiropractors adjust you without having an exam having an exam because i yeah i've done that and it was the worst pain of my life really yeah i didn't know about this yeah see this was i didn't even know about that wow okay so for those of you out there hope these seven myths you know find you well okay and um if you need any help reach out see you next time